Have a holy dream in the Lord. Have a holy dream for the glory, glory of God. We gotta do. Here is one man who glory to the Lord. Rest of his life, after he had healed his leprosy by believing, obeying of the word of God. His name is Naaman. Nama. According to Second King chapter five, that we see the story of Naman, the commander of the army of the king Aram, which is. Now Syria. He was uh, living with uh, no hope. He was no hope because uh, his uh, leprosy. However, he was uh, cured of his uh, leprosy. By hearing the good news, believing it, and obeying the word of God. Hallelujah. All right, let us ponder the spiritual lesson that can be taught from the story of Nama. I'm going to tell you now. A country that was uh, an enemy of Israel in the days of Elijah prophet. He was a great commander of the Aram army and he was of Faithful servant, his master, king of Aram, being highly respected by the people. Bible said he seemed to have everything, fame, power, material, wealth. He looked at if he did not lack anything at all. However, he had a fundamental problem. It was a fatal defect for him. He had a leprosy. I want to tell you about the leprosy. Leprosy is much like age today. It, he was a, a, it, it, it's a very, very diff, difficult to cure of this disease, it was fear of disease at that time. These days, we call that disease Hanson disease because Dr. Hanson discovered the way to cure of that disease. 
Leprosy is a fatal disease that it means all body body part decays after periphobal nerves die. Skin regions are the primary external sign. It will be like a spot, damage, decay, and crafts infection result in the hair and the eyebrow. Eyebrow loss. Finger and toes become the shortened and the nose becomes deformed. In those days, anyone who leprosy was destined to die with a miserable figure of the body. But today, leprosy is no longer an incurable disease. Israelites believed leprosy was a sign of God's judgment. He, he had probably a mild form of disease, or it was still the early stage. Leviticus 13, 40, 13, chapter 45, 46 say, the person with such an infection disease must wear torn clothes. Let he had unkempt and covered the low part of the his face and cry out unclean, unclean. He must live alone outside the camp. According to the scripture, Lepo had to be separated from the other people. Living outside the camp. Leprosy signifies the human status when mankind away from God, when human being left to God, they were infected by the spiritual leprosy. Spiritual leprosy, I'm speaking to you now. Due to the, our sins, we are committed every day. Consequently, their spiritual was deformed, decaying in sin. Since lepro, lepers lose the function of their peripheral nerves, their body part becomes numb. In the same way, when we leave God, living in our sin, unrighteousness, 
debauchery, corrupt, we become spiritual numb. Hmm? Listen, my friend. There was a, a young girl who had been captured from Israel, who served Naaman's wife. She said, Naaman's wife, if only my master could would to see the prophet who is in Samaria, his leprosy could be healed. This was a slave girl's message. But Naaman had heard carefully. He catched this word. What his slave girl talked, his disease leprosy. The message, she said, changed Naaman's mind to have face. Hallelujah. He got the face. You know, he's a pagan. He did not load. He didn't believe God. But listen. Keep listening. He, he thought his leprosy could be cured. He got the face. God comes to us when we the word of Almighty God and the face come out. Bring some beetle and blessing in our lives. Faith comes here and hear you the word of my God. Romans 10, chapter 17. Naaman had overjoyed. He, he rushed Elijah's house. What happened? Nobody was there. Nobody came out the door. He said, <laughs> I thought that he would surely come out and welcome or and stand, call on his name, Lord, and cure me with the Lord God. Wave his hand over and my leprosy. Hmm? He was angry. No one was out there to greet to him. He was upset. Bible said. Second King 5, chapter 13. He just servant said to Naaman, My father, if the prophet had told you to do some great thing, would you not have done it? How much more? How much more than when he tells you Wash and be cleansed. Today's text. Second King 5, chapter 10. The servant 
¿Qué hace? I believe. Se tu naman. Hinakto do. Go wash yourself seven times in the Jordan River. And your flesh will be restored. And you will be cleansed. As soon as he heard this word, he was upset. Oh. Oh. He thought, if, so, it, it, Naman's servant told and, and persuaded to him, he changed the mind. If I could be cured of leprosy, I would have done much more. I have come to Samaria all the way from the Aram based on the words of a slave girl. How hard is it for me? Wash myself in the Jordan River. So he turned and went into the Jordan River. He dipped himself in the river once. Nothing happened. Two times, three times, seven times. At last, seven times, he had deep the water. What happened? Bible said, his flesh was restored and become clean like a boy. <laughs> he completely healed his leprosy. What's gone? Hmm? Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let me tell you. I want to tell you Jesus Christ time and uh, the leprosy. There were many, many lepers in the days of Jesus Christ. Jesus healed each of them when they came to him. Matthew 8, chapter 1 through the 3 says, When he came down from the mountainside, large crowd followed him. A man with leprosy came and dealt down him and said, Lord, if you willing, you can make me clean. Jesus reached and his hand, you can make me clean. Jesus reached. His hands out touched them. I am willing. He said, be clean. Immediately he was cleansed. Oh, hallelujah. This shows the love of the Lord. Of who comes to us and reach out his hand while we are Debauched, unrighteous, and forsaken. Listen, my brother and sister. Jesus Christ, our Lord, He touches us and heals us from every disease and spiritual lepros we had. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. In order to experience God's miracle, first we must conquer our pride. 
Next, we must believe the word and obey the word. Total faith brings the total obedience. Total obedience works with total faith. Faith and obedience are the, like the two sides of the coin. If you do not obey while you saying, I believe Jesus Christ, miracle will not happen. If Nadan, uh, Nadan, not, if Naaman had uh, gone back to Aram without uh, washing himself in the Jordan, think about that. He would have died of leprosy. Since he believed and obeyed, miracle took place. Naaman was completely cured. But that was not the end. He came back to Elijah's house again. He decided not to worship idols, but he decided to worship the Lord alone. Hallelujah. Oh, not sacrificing to any other God. Oh, thank you, Lord. Listen. Naaman said, Please let me, your servant, be given as much as as a pair of donkey, you're going to carry out the, the soil in Israel. For your servant will never, never again make a burnt offering and sacrifice to other God. But, but, God who healed me, that he said to the prophet Elisha, after he had healed. Oh, thank you, Lord, pray that. I want you to believe the word of God and obey. Then great miracle happen to you. Marvelous thing will happen to you if you ob obey the word of God and believe this word. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I want to I wanna tell you the story. Kara. He's a professional soccer player in the real Madrid, Spain. Whenever he scores the goal, he lifts up his uniform and shows the shot underneath his shot set with the word I belong to Jesus, printed across it. Then all the view in the world see it on TV. He also print the word Jesus in the fourth plate on his shoes. He is a world famous soccer player. He was named on the FIFA World Player of the Year 2007. He played in the World Cup games for Brazil three times in his life. There was an instant which provided the momentum 
for his face. Listen, my brother, sister. At the age of 18, Kara had a swimming pool accident. As he stood up in the floor, he fall down because he slipped. He, he hurt back and broken in the bone. So he couldn't Saka no more. He prayed and prayed with his parent. So God heard his prayer. God healed him completely. He, he said to God, if God healed me, I will play Saka for the glory of God. He, he entirely healed and he prayed again as a famous soccer prayer in the world. God lifted up. So now he is praying for the glory of God. In soccer game every time in this world. Oh, thank you, Lord. You and me, we, 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 we have to walk for the glory of God. Rest of our life for the glory of God. God going to give you in the in the wonderful miracle you never expect. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Yes. You and me. We, every time, we are doing for the glory of God. Like uh, Naaman, who healed He's a leprous. Thank you, Lord. Oh, pray the Lord. Give glory. That's all I can say. Today's message. Bye-bye. See you later. Hallelujah.